Friday. I'm already late for dinner. We're going to blitz it. Sean's M5 went through most of the PDI. It is 91% done according to ShopMonkey. We still need an alignment. And uh, after the detailing, we're going to be installing some door sills and various last minute trims that are exactly that last minute items that we don't put on because they could get damaged or scuffed or whatever uh, before the car's done. So it goes down Monday morning to, uh, to get paint corrected, ceramic coated, polished, and it'll come back uh, just glistening under the California sun. At least that is the hope. Jerry's 2000 carbon black is done, ready for pickup. He wants to come next weekend. I'm out of town next weekend. We'll have to see if my dad or Michael can come up here and facilitate pickup. And uh, maybe we'll process a card on the phone. In the meantime, get this thing taken care of. M3, I'm trying to put a blue bus in here. Major, major pain in the ass on the E46 convertible. All this carpeting comes out. The CD changer pre-wiring is under this little side panel. Of course, it's not long enough to get up to the front where the TCU is, where I want to mount the blue bus right on the bulkhead. Um, I can't unravel the wiring and do that because one of the grounds for the three-pin iBus connector comes back here into that grounding spade. So I'm having Ted make a three-pin iBus extension cable for me. This will be going in for paint correction, polishing, and ceramic coating um, a week from Monday. Mike worked on Sterling today. Diff got resealed, put back in. Drive lines mostly back together. We've still got to do the exhaust, Mark IV computer, uh, coolant hose that's leaking, coolant flush, a bunch of other uh, kind of small, small fry jobs like that. I did a ton of organization today. Crawled up in there about four times, uh, made more room, brought stuff in from inside I don't need inside and shoved it up there. Cleaned off some uh, desk table space over here, but now of course it's already piled up with crap again. This is out of Steve's 03, can't really fix those. So I put in a used one that I, that I had as uh, kind of an, an unfortunately no better condition. So we'll see what the leather guys can do in terms of touch up. All of these need to be broken down and thrown out. There's no reason to keep shoe boxes. Those were here when we moved in. We thought, oh, maybe we'll need them. We just shoved them up there. We've had no use for them, so I'm going to be getting rid of those. If only these days were longer and my back were stronger, I'd have this front bumper on. I don't know why it takes us so long. It's just not enough of a priority. Uh, he's not coming for about two weeks, so we've got a little time to put that on. But boy, do we have a lot of work to do on this car over the next two weeks. All these trims, shadow line, these rear window seals. Um, kind of a mess, starting to freak me out a little bit. Whole interiors apart in terms of the door panels and whatnot. And that is the seat back that we're on today. Johnny's 2,540 or 99, I think it's 2,540 is back, 180,000 miles. It's the timing chain guide car we had several weeks or a couple of months ago at this point. Um, he's getting a bit of a rattle in the engine on cold starts after long periods, which is weird. We replaced the check valve, rebuilt the Vano seals, did everything right. Engine's running and sounding great. We'll scan for codes, see if there's issues. Could be a bad Vanos unit that just wasn't rebuildable. Or the O-ring on the one-way check valve behind the Vano solenoid on cylinder bank number two tore during installation, which is possible. He's also got the trifecta, so the ABS module is going out to get rebuilt. We're going to be doing front and rear pads and rotors and potentially the Hello Retrofit kit taillights that three cars in here have on them. Well, in them. Mine are installed. These are installed, and he's got a set in the trunk, and those are exceptionally difficult to find. That's it. It's Friday. I gotta go home, shower. Larissa and I are gonna do Naughty Barrel, and then back to the dog sitter's house tonight. Take it easy tonight. Take care of that dog. And uh, tomorrow we've got an FOC meet in the morning, and then brunch with Kenan and his sister. Also, happy Cinco de Mayo. Totally forgot about that.